today we will start with new point in structure chapter that is how to pass structure variable to a function that means we have designed one function and pass structure variable as a argument to that function clear okay for that we will take one example of structure that is student structure so first define the structure before that include the header files first header file hash include std io dot h then include second header file hash include con io dot h as well as include string dot h if you want to use string handling functions building function then you have to include string dot h header file suppose hash include string dot h header file next define the structure for student so keyword is struct name of the structure suppose student then in the curly bracket members of the structure clear so which are the members first is student roll number so roll number is the first member data member of that structure and what is the data type roll number is in the integer format second name of the student so name obviously it is a character array so name of the student 20 character declare it as a character array second data member of the function structure third marks marks of that particular student having data type blue so all these data members having different data type so what is the use of structure structure is a structure is used for storing non homogeneous data members together in a single entity called as structure and structure is a user defined data type array pointer functions these are derived data type while structure is a user defined data type because as per the user's requirement we have to design our own data type clear this is student data type we have designed if you want some other data members you can include it in this structure okay so as per user's requirement user can design its own data type so it is called structure is called as user defined data type okay and struct stood is a data type name like integer float double etc next what is next declare the structure variable suppose s yes. okay so this is total called as structure definition roll number name marks these are the structure data members s is called as structure variable understood after that start from main function so void main okay now initialize that structure variable this is structure variable this is called as declaration of structure variable s is a structure variable it is only declared not assigned values so assign values in main function so in main function clear screen after that how to assign there are different ways using dot operator we can assign the value s dot roll number suppose s dot roll number what is the roll number is equal to 1000 this is roll number of first student okay next name of the student so s dot name okay so s dot name is equal to double quote x y z is it working is it working directly we can assign the value of string that is name of the student suppose name of the student is x y z directly we can assign using assignment operator no it is not possible okay for that there is one function string copy copy the one string from another string 
So use string copy functions. That means str cpy that is string copy function. First argument is the source destination. So second string is copied into s dot name. Understood? So this x y z is the name of the student and that name assigned to which variable s dot name. Clear? Next, marks. So how to assign marks? S dot marks. Marks is load. Suppose marks of the student is 90.90 percent. .90%. So assign 90.90. That is load value. Okay. So this is called as S. It's a structure variable. It is only declared here. Then assign the values to that structure variable. That means its initialization. Okay. We are done. Initialization of structure variable. Clear. Next part. Next part is what inside we are not display row number, name and marks in the main function. For that purpose, we have to design new function. That is display student record. That is the name of the function. So what is the function? Name display record. So this is the function. This is called as function name. There is no space between the name of the function. Don't write space in between that name of the function. So what is the name of the function? Display record. Record of the student. Clear. So call this function in main function. Display record. Inside that display record, what argument we have to pass? We have to pass structure variable as a value. So again, there are two ways to pass structure variable. One way is by value. We can pass the structure variable by value. And second way by pointer or by reference or by address. Okay. So there are two ways to pass structure variable to a function, any function. First way, now we will study first by value. How to pass structure variable? Which is the structure variable? This is called as structure variable. Pass the structure variable to the function, display record. But how? By value. Clear? So, here is data type name struct stool is the name of the data type. Give the name of the variable. Suppose name of the variable is x. What is now structure variable name? x. This is called as formal argument to a function. This is the formal argument. After that, body of the function. What is the return type of the function? Void. Because this function does not return anything. What is the use of this function display record? This function displays that record of student. Means name, roll number and marks. That is the purpose of this display record function. Okay, and what argument we have to pass? We have to pass structure variable as a by value, not by reference, by value. So here also, this is function definition total, this is function call. In function call, pass the structure variable by value. So only give the name, just s, yes, pass s. Yes. Okay, already structure variable is initialized here. Clear? And pass that s to that display record function. There is no catching variable because return type is void. So no need to write equal to and catching variable because return type is void. Display record function does not returns anything. So no need to write catching variable as equal to operator in function call. Okay, next one thing is remaining. What is the one thing? That is prototype. Write the prototype above main function. Clear? What is the prototype of the function? Void display record in the parenthesis struct stool. Okay. What is necessary in the prototype function prototype? Arguments data type is necessary. No need to write name of the structure variable. It is optional. Okay. You have write S, then okay. 
but if you don't write then also it is okay because it is optional part clear so this is called and give the semicolon so this is called as function prototype right type function prototype above main function clear so this function becomes global function means we can call this function anywhere in main other function is there suppose swap display function we can call anywhere because that function is declared above main that means it becomes global understood okay next now write the definition inside the display record clear what is the use we have to display name of the student roll number of the student and marks of that student which student s clear so this s is copied into x variable this s whatever be the data in s variable this s is copied into x structure variable how data member by data member copying is there understood means memory management okay so here total there are two variables first is the s <coughs> s structure variable for s s dot roll number s dot name starts from 0 dot dot s dot name of 19 last character and after that s of marks so total this block is called as s structure variable okay how many bytes are reserved 20 plus 2 plus 4 that is 26 bytes are reserved for that one structure variable clear next after that what is the roll number we assign roll number that is 1000 what is the name x y z is assigned after that what is the marks 90.90 clear memory management is there now when you pass this function call binds to function definition at that time this s is copied to the x variable x so x having separate memory location because argument is passed to by value if you pass the value by value means separate memory location is allocated for that x clear okay so x is also reserved memory how many bytes 26 bytes are reserved for x so x dot roll number because x is also a structure variable so x dot roll number x dot name name of 0 till x of name of 19 next x of marks so this is a total block of 26 bytes and name of that structure variable is x now what happen this s is totally copied into x structure variable how data member by data member copy means first data member is s dot roll number this s dot roll number is copied into x dot roll number x dot roll number that means 1000 then string name x y z is copied into x dot name and x dot marks is copied this struct one structure variable totally is copied into another structure variable how data member by data member there are three data members for one structure variable and this data members are copied clear due to what when you pass s to that x by value in by value separate memory location is created for structure variable next now what to do we have to display that whole record clear so display first print that name first is roll number suppose roll number is equal to percentage d slash n Double quotes complete comma. Now, how to access the data members of a structure? Okay, by using x dot x dot roll number. Next, print def name is equal to percentage s slash n double quotes complete comma x dot name okay next printf 
marks is equal to percentage F, comma, slash n, double quotes, comma, x dot, marks, complete. Okay. Clear. So, here, we have to access roll number, name, marks using x structure variable. Okay, so x dot roll number, x dot name and x dot marks. Okay, so last result is name is equal to roll number is equal to 1000. Then name is equal to x y z and marks is equal to 90.90. That is the final result. That is the final output. Clear. So what is the purpose of that? Here we design one function and to that function how we can pass the structure variable by value. Understood? This is one way to pass structure variable by value. Second way using address or reference or it is called as by pointer. Clear? Same program. How we can pass the structure variable to the function here by value. Next way is the by reference means we have to pass address. Understood? So what is the change? Here, instead of by value, this is by value, we can pass address of S. Clear? So, <coughs> if you pass address of S, so catching variable must pointer type. So, write structs to pointer X. Lakshadkya can change whether by value and by reference. Here, ampersand. Because you have to pass structure variable by address. Okay. Then catching variable structs to pointer x means <coughs> address is copied into pointer type of variable. Clear? So this address is assigned to address of pointer x. Now x is not a structure variable. It is a structure type pointer variable. Pointer x means it is pointer of pointer type but which structure variable. It is not a structure because now x stores what? x stores only address, not a value. Here x is a structure variable, so it stores the value. Now x becomes a pointer type variable, so now x stores only address. x and how many bytes are reserved for x? 2 bytes. If it is 32 bit system, then 2 bytes are reserved for x because it is a pointer type. If it is 64 bit, then four it bytes. reserves 4 bytes. Clear? Any type of pointer variable reserves only 2 or 4 bytes. Clear? So x is now structure variable, not structure variable, pointer type structure variable. x is a pointer type structure variable. So now x stores the address. Which address? That we have to pass. Address of S. So this address of S is assigned means pointer X is equal to address of S. <laughs> okay, it is done at the time of at runtime. Okay, means pointer X now what value is assigned? Address of S is assigned. Clear at the runtime. So now what is the address? Suppose this S total S having base address hundred. What is the base address? Hundred. So this 100 is stored into x variable, okay, because it is a pointer type. So it points to this 100 location on the rack. Clear? So it is a pointer type variable. Now, using structure pointer, using structure pointer, we have to access structure data members, but use arrow operator. But that's simple, but simple. Structure cha simple variable through, which is S through. Structure cha data member access karai cha still, then use dot operator. Structure cha simple variable through. Structure cha data member access karai cha still, then use dot operator. Structure cha pointer type variable through. X plus la hai, pointer type. Structure cha pointer type variable through. Structure cha data member access karai cha still, use arrow operator. So here x dot roll number don't work. It gives you syntactical error. Instead of that, what? X arrow roll number. 
एक्स एरो नेम एक्स एरो मास अंडरस्टूड स्ट्रक्चर चार सिंपल वेरिएबल थ्रू स्ट्रक्चर चे डेटा मेंबर एक्सेस कराए चार स्टील दिस आर द स्ट्रक्चर डेटा मेंबर दिस इज स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएबल थ्रू स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएबल एक्सेसिंग स्ट्रक्चर डेटा मेंबर यूज डॉट ऑपरेटर using structure pointer type of variable access the structure data members use arrow operator understood so here we have to pass structure variable but how by reference by address or by pointer understood okay so uh, we will summarize this point clear for structure baka function je ahe function la apan structure variable pass karu shakto there are two ways first way is by value second way is by reference by value pass keli tar jo catching variable asto tya sathi ka hote structure variable sathi separate memory management hote data member data member by data member ka hota copying hota आणि परत आपण कशा थ्रू करतो डॉट ऑपरेटर थ्रू स्ट्रक्चर चे डेटा मेंबर्स ऍक्सेस करतो इफ वी पास द स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएबल बाय रेफरेंस तो कॅचिंग वेरिएबल काय होतो पॉइंटर टाइप होतो आणि स्ट्रक्चर चे डेटा मेंबर्स मींस रोल नंबर नेम एंड मार्क्स ऍक्सेस करायचे असतील तर यूज ऍरो ऑपरेटर ओके सो टुडे वी विल स्टॉप हियर